Hi, this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our third grade teach at home math video series. This is week five, day one. So the other day, I had two baskets of eggs. And so I had some in one and some in another and I was trying to figure out how many eggs I had in all. And then someone came in and they took one egg out of one basket and put it in the other. And I was really upset because I really thought that I just finished counting all those, and now someone just messed my count up. Did they? Did they mess my count up if they just took one from one basket and put it in another, even if I'm trying to get the total of the two baskets? I don't know. Well, that's what we're going to explore today. We're going to explore this idea that if I take some and I give some, so if I do this give and take, do I get the same answer? And can I get an can I get a problem that might be easier to solve? So come join me today as we learn about give and take. So today we're going to begin by looking at this picture of eggs. So first thing I want you to look at is just see what do you notice? What are some things you notice? I wonder if you noticed that there were two baskets. And I wonder if you noticed that there were 37 eggs in this basket and 24 eggs in this basket. So what if I was to ask you, well, how many eggs do we have in both baskets together? What would you do? Did you say you would put those together or you would add those together? Yeah, so you might add 37 plus 24. And if you add 37 plus 24, what do you get? Did you say 61? If you said 61, how did you do that? I wonder if any of you were like, well, I decomposed the 37 into 30 and 7, and I decomposed the 24 into 20 and 4, and then I put the tens together, which was 50, and I put the seven together, seven and four together, which is 11, and 50 plus 11 is 61. So that's a way. Some of you might have stacked them, and you might have done something that we call the standard algorithm, where you go seven plus four, and you know that's 11 ones, and you trade for a 10, and then you have one 10 plus three tens plus two tens, and you get six tens, and so you have 61. Some of you may have done that to get 61. So here's a question. So I want you to watch what happens. So watch the screen and tell me what, what you notice. So what just happened? Did you say that one egg moved from the basket of 24 to the basket of 37? So how many eggs is that now? So we don't have 37 anymore, we have 38 eggs. We don't have 24 anymore, we have 23 eggs, right? So we have a new problem, don't we? We have 38 plus 23. So we need to solve 38 plus 23. So what is 38 plus 23? Did you say 61? So it's the same answer as 37 plus 24. So 38 plus 23 is also 61. Well, that's interesting. Why is that? What happened? Hmm. Can you tell the person sitting next to you or tell the screen what happened? Why could it still be 61? Did you say because all we did was take one from one basket and give it to the other, but it's still the same amount of eggs, whether it's in one basket or the other, right? If we're putting those baskets all together, it's still, it's still the same amount of eggs. Yes, but I, you took one and you gave one. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, let's watch the screen again. So what happened that time? Now, how many eggs do we have in this basket? We have 39 eggs. 
But how many eggs do we have in this basket? Oh, we only have 22 eggs. So if I want to know how many eggs are in the, in the basket, then what you're saying is I could say 39 plus 22. And what do you get if you get 39 plus 22? How many total eggs is that? Did you say 61 again? Well, that's really interesting. So 39 plus 22 is the same thing as 38 plus 23, which is the same thing as 37 plus 24. So I could write that and say, this all equals 38 plus 23. It equals 39 plus 22, because they're all 61. So why did that happen again? Did you say it happened again because again, we just moved one egg from one basket to the other basket. But then, eventually, we're putting those baskets back together, so it doesn't matter how many. Yeah. So it's like you're, you're giving and you're taking. Hmm. Well, let's watch it again. What happened? Another egg. So now we don't have 39 over here. We have 40. And we don't have 22 over here, we have 21. So now we have a new problem. We have 40 plus 21. Who likes that problem? I do. Those are really friendly numbers, aren't they? 40 plus 21 is really friendly. I can see without hardly doing anything, those numbers fall nicely together and I can see that that is 61. So, what we're saying is this is also 61. So out of all of these problems that all equaled 61, which one did you like the best? I know what my favorite one was. This one right here. So are we saying that we could have a problem like this and I could make it this and it would still be the same answer? Or if I have a problem like this, I can make it this. Or I had this problem and I made it this, that will work because all I'm doing is giving and taking. Well, let's keep exploring this idea, but I want you to keep in mind the eggs in your head of what's happening, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a series of problems and so for this, you have two choices. You can do the problems in your head if you would like. So if you wanna look at the problems and you wanna do it in your head, then go ahead. Or if you wanna keep track of your mental steps, then you can use a sheet of paper to keep track of your mental steps. So either one is works for me, okay? Okay, so um, here's the first problem. So the first problem is 60 plus 51, 60 plus 51. Who likes that problem? Well, I do, because those numbers, again, they fall very nicely to give you. Did you get 111? Yeah, I don't even have to really do much, because I can see those numbers. I can see how they, they just nicely fall together. I can see how my ones fall together. If I've got zero ones and one one, that's one, and I have six tens and five tens, that's 11 tens. So I have 111, just falls nicely together. Okay, so let's look at this problem right here. What is 58 plus 53? Huh, what is 58 plus 53? How many of you said, well, it's 111? Huh, it's 111? That's what this one was. Which problem do you like better? Well, I know which one I like better. I like this one better. So is there a way that we could take this problem and make it this problem? Can we think about those ba those eggs in the basket? So maybe I have a basket of 58 eggs and I have a basket of 53 eggs. What could I do? 
to make that that nice 60 plus 51. Hmm. Thinking eggs. Well, I see 58 is really close to the 60. I just need two more, right? But where did I get those two eggs? I got them from the other basket, right? So I have to subtract two. And now I have the problem 60 plus 51, which is why that's still 111. Oh, it's really kind of awesome that you can do that. Okay, well, let's try another problem. What about 82 plus 40? What is 82 plus 40? Did you say it's 122? This is one of those really pretty problems that the numbers just nicely fall out. If I have two ones and zero ones, then I've got my two ones. And if I have eight tens and four tens, those are nicely, those are 12 tens, so I have 122. That's a really nice problem, isn't it? So what about this problem? What is 87 plus 35? What's 87 plus 35? Did you get 122 again? Oh man, that's like that other one. And this one, I didn't like so much. I really liked this one because it got to me, I had something nice and friendly. So is there any way we could take, th take this problem and make it this problem? Can we think of our eggs if I have a basket of 87 eggs and a basket of 35 eggs? Which one do you want to make friendly here? Well, they made this 40, so how do y'all make that 40? You could add five, but if you're adding five, then what happens to that other basket thinking about your eggs? You have to take five, don't you? So if I take five, I've got 82, and if I give five, I'm gonna have 40, which is that exact nice problem that gives you 122. That's a really nice way of looking at 87 plus 35 is getting it to something like 80, 82 plus 40. It's this idea of give and take. So here's a problem for you. What is 66 plus 79? So what I want you to think about in this one is I want you to think about is there a way to make that friendly? Is there a way to make that nicer to solve? Thinking about your eggs, if you have 66 eggs in this basket and 79 eggs in this basket, what could you do? How many of you were like, I do not want to solve this problem? That's not the problem I want to solve. Did some of you go, 79 is really close to 80, so I'm going to add one to get to 80 because that's a nice number. But if I add that one, then I've got to take this one, and that's 65. Now 65 plus 80, now that's a problem I want to solve, because those numbers are really nice. I've got my five ones and my 14 tens, so I've got 145. It's a really nice problem. But I wonder if any of you did something different. So you could do it that way, but maybe somebody noticed something over here. They were like, no. I'm gonna make 66 nice. So I'm gonna add four because that's gonna get me to seven. And I'm gonna subtract four and that's gonna get me to 75. Ooh, that's a really nice problem, isn't it? 70 plus 75? It's what? It's still 145. So I can make either one of these add-ins friendly, can't I? So that's a really nice strategy that we are working on here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to summarize what we've talked about today, what you just experienced. So the idea here is that you are learning about a strategy called give and take. I want you to picture those eggs in your mind and what just happened. So let's talk about how you can use give and take for the problem 97 plus 34. Well, 
some of you, you can solve that problem. So go ahead and solve that problem. What is 97 plus 34? And do it the way that makes sense to you. Okay. Now, if I was using give and take, what would that look like? Well, some of you may notice that 97 is really close to 100. So if I add three, that's like adding those three eggs. But where did I get those eggs? I got those eggs from here, so I have to subtract three. So this gives me 100, and if I subtract three, it's 31. Oh man, 100 plus 31 is what? It's 131. So that's a really nice way of doing 97 plus 34. It's much friendly, this problem's much friendlier than 97 plus four. So today you learned about a new strategy. It's called give and take. So if you would like to practice this strategy, go to handomind.com and go ahead and download some more activities that are going to help you with this idea. I hope you all have a really good day.